What is up, guys? Your boy Ben here. Welcome back. We're doing more of this. Welcome to part two of Metallica. If you want a little recap what happened last time, you know. In case you're someone else just gonna watch this video without watching the last video, which if you did, fuck are you doing? What are you doing? If you're, if you're watching this one and not watching part one, what the fuck are you doing? Go watch part one. But if you didn't and you're not, you're just gonna fucking ignore me because whatever. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Last time we listened to Kill 'em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, Injustice for All, The Black Album. Then we had an intermission where we talked about SM 1 and 2 and MTV Icon for Metallica. And then we finished it off by listening to this fucking thing, Loaded. That's what happened in the last one fucking 40 minute long video. It took me a long time to move to it, whatever. Go watch that, please. Please go watch that video before watching this one. Please. But now, in this episode, to continue it, we're going to listen to Reload, and we'll Reload, which I figured it's good to end the last one with Load and then do Reload this one. So we got Reload coming up. Whew. Saint Anger, which was, oh boy. And then we're going to have an intermission. This intermission's early, unlike the last one. Uh, intermission where we're going to talk about Dog shit Lulu, which that gives you a little hint where the tier list where it's gonna go in the tier list later, but yeah. And we're also gonna talk about Garage Inc., which is a this is also a good album for the intermission. Then after that, we're gonna finish things off by talking about Death Magnetic, Hardwired to Self Destruct, and then finally, finally, the new album, the 72 Seasons, that just came out. I have no I've only listened to the singles on here. I haven't even gotten to listen to the whole thing yet. So because I'll save you for this video. So yeah. So without further ado, start with loaded. And no, I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna do the thing, I'll do it right now. Yeah. But yeah. Let's get to reload. The better of the two. Yeah. Alright folks, we're on reload. Metallica reload. Back. All right, let's get this bad boy in there. Let you first let me get my out of that thing. All right. Okay, there we go. In there. Okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna cut to the thing because uh, it's taking a lot of time. Let me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fucking cut to the. guys we just got done with reload oh shit I gotta get my own here alright 
Number 13 is Where the Wild Things Are. 12 is Slither. Slither? Yeah. 11 is Carp Day Baby. I don't fucking know. 10 is Fixer. 9 is Low Man's Lyrics. 8 is Attitude. 7 is Bad Seed. 6 is Prince Charming. 7 is Better Than You. 4 is Fuel. 3 is The Unforgiven 2. 2 is Devil's Dance. And 1 is The Memory Remains. Now, 13, the Where the Wild Things Are, that's mostly because it, it kind of sounds more like an Alice in Chains song, which is not even a good one. So it's like, eh, not my favorite. But in honestly, that's like the only song I really kind of don't like on the album, to be honest with you. Sith, Slither, just because I couldn't really find a place to go, and I feel like that's the place to put it. It's alright song. The other one, I'm not going to fucking say it again. Number 11. <laughs> Same thing, just because those two, because those two played right after each other, and they were good, but like not not the best, you know. Fixer, good way. It was a, it was an okay way to end the album. It's all right. Low man's lyrics, pretty. It was it was good. Attitude, bad seed. They were they were they were good. They're like in the middle. That's why I put it like there. They're like middle of the good songs, you know. Then uh. Prince Charming was really good, in my opinion. I haven't heard that song in a while. It's really good. And then the top five here are the only songs I really remembered from this album. <laughs> Better Than You, good song. Fuel, no shit. I'm wondering why it's not number one. Because that song gets played so goddamn much that I fucking don't... I like the other, plus, I like the other ones better. The Unforgiven 2 at number three because that's my favorite of the Unforgiven trilogy. Uh, Devil's Dance, because that's just an underrated song. I, I really like it. And The Memory Remains, obviously, is my number one favorite song. Like, come on now. And I'm going to put Reload. First of all, I need to fix this. There we go. Reload goes in good. So I think it's good. I'm not. It's not great, but it's it's good. I was originally going to put it in meh, but like after listening to all the songs, it's good. Like, like actually, no. Let me... I kind of like the MTV icon a little bit, just because of the corn cover. But yeah. That's where that goes. All right, let's get ready to do the oh fuck one. As you can see, next is Saint Anger. That one is not going to be fun. Also, let me put this one here too because that's also coming up soon. These these two are going to be bad. Oh, well, Saint Anger's all right, but this one is going to be oh god. But yeah, let's get on to everyone's fucking most hate. Well, no, not everyone's most hate album. That would be Lulu. Everyone. Out of the studio albums that's just Metallica, this is the worst one in many people's opinions. Let's see if that's right. As you can see, it's in my opinion, spoiler, it's going to be a little higher or maybe on the same level as Loaded. Load, but I don't know. Well, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I had to cut. I'm cutting it this way because so, cause I'm just going to show you if St. Anger from here because and talk about it from here. I'm not I'm not going to go set up the computer and I'll do all that just for St. Anger. No, I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, this is the worst, well not the worst, but everyone's least favorite Metallica album, mostly because of those snare drums that Lars uses in this fucking thing. So yeah, um, Saint Anger everybody, I'm just going to show you the CD, I'm not going to show you me putting it in that thing over there, because I still got to set up my camera over here. But yeah, uh, Saint Anger, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just showing it here, but yeah. This thing is broken by the way. But, uh, okay, that's it. Now you saw the CD. Now I'm gonna go put it up. And I'm also separating that part because that probably that mini thing segment I just did, I'm probably gonna make it into its own video. So there's that. folks saint anger holy fuck i was wrong and i was wrong this 
So this isn't that bad. Yes, it is. And, oh God, let's just let's get through this. Boom. Uh, number eleven is dirty window. Ten is all within my hands. Nine is purify. Eight is invisible kid. Bandit, what are you doing back there? <whistles> Eight is invisible kid. Seven is sweet amber. Six is my world. Five is shoot me again. Four is some kind of monster. Three is the unnamed feeling. Two is frantic, and one is saint. Is saint anger. Uh, dirty window. I just I could. I, it's bad. It, out of this bad album, that's just bad. The worst on it, in my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> well, they're all. That's where I put it, I guess. And uh, all within my hands. Uh, I had to put it above uh, dirty window because it's the end of the album. So I. It's 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 good. It's just, uh, nine purify. It's all right, a guy. I don't know. Visible Kid, one of the, one of the songs that I remembered that I thought was good, and it, it's not. So that's why it's number eight. Sweet Amber is all right, I guess. Um, my World is good, except for the go, my world. There's nothing like that. Shoot Me Again, one of the songs I do remember that I actually do like. Uh, the Unnamed Feeling, which is good because it gave me a break from the snare drum, so that's why number three is that. And then Frantic and Saint Anger are the two main songs I listen to from this album that, I'll, that I listen to multiple times. Uh, those are the songs that I actually like from the album. <laughs> like, I like The Unnamed Feeling now, but the songs before that I actually like is Saint Anger. And I'm putting Saint Anger in the nah. It's going in nah. Because while Loaded was boring, Saint Anger was, oh my god. Uh, um, but this one, which I'm just going to say, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, intermission starts now. All right, this is the start of the intermission. Uh, Lulu, uh, Lulu, right here. That's just going. That's dog shit. And I'm gonna show you why. There is no all oh, my favorite songs. I you know Lulu's dog shit. And this is I'm gonna show you why. Uh, right now. So here, here we go. All right, now for all Lulu, I'm not gonna tell you why. This button, right? I'm gonna press this button right here, and that will show you why. Unless it's bad, unless I get copyrighted for it, which I don't know, I'm, I don't know what the way that this is gonna be, because I'm gonna be talking. But I'm gonna show you why, and I'll, and uh, it's either gonna be you're gonna hear it from here, or I'm gonna put on screen some of the lyrics from that came from Lulu. And if you don't know who Lulu, Lulu is, it's a collaboration between Lou Reed and Metallica on an album. You don't know who Lou Reed is? I don't fucking know. I'm not doing research on Lou Reed. I fucking hate him on this piece of shit. So. Uh, here's here's some of the amazing lines and lyrics from Lulu, and like I said, if uh, if if you don't hear this, I'm just gonna pop some on screen, or I'll make it a separate thing. I don't know. But yeah, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, 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 fuck no, this is terrible. I am the table, that's where the meme came from, I am the table. Yeah, I am. If I waggle my ass like a dog prostitute, that's what he just said. Multiple times. He said it multiple times. Over and over, he says it again. A colored man's dick. Yeah, this is bad. Like, this is just five minutes of, like... like we're trying, I'm not even doing the whole five minutes. Cheat, cheat, cheat on me. This is actually a Metallica. Um, I never, I can, I never finished because I'm never gonna finish. 
It's a challenge that me, Sebastian, and all my buddies had. And we no one can finish it because it's that bad. Dude. Spermless, he said. Much as his wife, come on. Spermless like a girl. That's enough. That's enough. I just shut it off. But you see, that's the thing with Lulu. It, it seems like, you know, you got Metallica jamming out, which is good because they got rid of the snare drums. But, like, then, like, you got some old man coming in rambling off random shit. And plus, James Headfield is a table. I really hope that I don't get copyrighted for that because I did talk over it. But this is this was dog shit. It was this, that, that's why Lulu, I just put in dog shit before I even came over here. But yeah, so now also uh, Garage Inc is yeah the next one. But yeah, Lulu, dog shit. That's what Lulu is. Lulu's dog. I don't have a CD of Lulu, and I never will because that's dog shit. And, you know and. I'd be in it, but just what this, just the waggle my ass like a dog prostitute. That's his lyric on this, on, on that, and it's terrible. So let's move on to something good. <laughs> Before I want to blow my fucking brains out because of how bad that shit was. Oh god, but uh, Garage Inc. Garage Inc. is actually pretty good. I'm gonna put it on one of those in a minute. Did I hit stop recording on this fucking okay? Yeah. Garage Inc. is just a Metallica doing a bunch of cover songs, and I'll get to my top. I'm going to put my top 10 on there in a minute. But yeah. Showing you a fucking CD. All CDs. It's a. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's garaging. I love I love garaging. Unlike Lulu, this is not dog shit. In fact, we're gonna go back over there so I can show you what this is, and then we're gonna go to Death Magnetic after that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoy that little bit of Lulu, by the way. Anyway, uh, garaging for my top ten. It's uh, ten is Sabra Sabra Cab Cabra. Fuck, I can't say shit. You can read it. That's actually a uh, Black Sabbath cover. Uh, nine is Free Speech for the Dumb. That's what starts off the whole thing. I fucking love it. Don't know who it's by. I, I didn't look that far into it because I don't want to want it. So, yeah. Is it's electric. Because I, I think that's the second song on the album, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah, it's the second one. Just those two combo right there. Bread Fan was the first ever song I heard from this album. And I still love it to this day. For number seven. Six is Stone Cold Soul. Stone Cold Crazy, a cover of Queen. A five, so what is a controversial song because of the shit that's in it. I'm not gonna say any of that, but it, I like it because it's funny to me. Yeah, a uh, four is Whiskey in the Jar, cause obviously. Three is uh, Tuesday's Gone, cover a Leonard Skinner cover. Uh, two is Turn the Page by Bob. Something I forgot his last name. Shit. And then one is Am I Evil by I forgot the name of that group too. And the reason why I put I Am Evil on top is because one, my favorite song from the album in general, and two because they, the big almost well the big three because Slayer didn't do it for some reason, but uh, Metallica, Megadeth, and Anthrax on on stage did this at the Big Four concert, which was great. So yeah, uh, so because of that, I'm gonna put. Garage Inc. under great. It's gonna go right here. Or, I'll put it right here. There. It's going under great. But yeah, see, we're doing good. And this was a short intermission because I didn't want to talk about Lulu. And this was good, but I'm not going over every song on it. Eventually, uh, believe it or not, uh, Garage Inc. was gonna be an actual one I was gonna do and have a sit down and listen to it. But that's like two hours long, and I don't have that much time. Well, I do, but I, I'll put it this way. I'm, I did it off screen and not for the video. 
during like throughout my time, not just during one set down. I couldn't do that. But see, we got three left. We got Death Magnetic, Hard World of Self Destruct, and 72, 72 seasons of the album I still haven't fucking listened to yet. So let's get to Death Magnetic. Fuck yeah. Alright, so that was St. Anger. Oh, boy. And then the intermission. So now we're back to it. We're going to do Death Magnetic. And this album. Okay, with this one, I've listened to it. And, like, I know songs on it. But, like, I don't really remember much. But, like, I know it's not bad. Like, I know this, I know this is a good album. But, like, I don't remember much. So I don't really know much to say about it. Because only girls were like, oh, like with Loaded and Reloaded. I was like, oh, these great albums. And then we get to, you know, that. Or St. Anger, you know, or Metallica album that they made besides Lulu. This one is just the one I got the least amount to say about it. Because this is one that, that I was like, oh, well, I got to buy it for my collection on that I have that you've already seen. <laughs> so like here you go you know what I mean he's like oh well it's part of the collection uh, it has the Unforgiven 3 on it to finish off that trilogy uh yeah uh so yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop talking and uh well first I gotta show you the, the thing first Plus, I think it's just the white, boring background that kind of kind of makes it kind of. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Like you know, here's the here's the disc. I don't know. I, like I'm, this is probably what I'm gonna do for for the rest of the video. I'm not gonna show you putting that in there because I don't feel like it. So yeah, uh, here's me uh, listening to Death Magnetic by Metallica. The album, I think a lot of people are just like, eh, especially because in the timeline, uh, this comes out in 2008, and then the next album they put out is Lulu, so that's pretty weird. You already saw how bad that is, but yeah. Um, and then, you know, Hardwired, self Struck, and then 72 Season, which I still have to listen to, so yeah. Let's listen to Death Magnetic now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we got Death Magnetic, which fucking surprised the shit out of me, because, and I will say this, most of the albums that I've realized I'll make in this series, really being good or bad, is so I didn't really pay attention as much to when I was listening to them, because I was, like, I'd listen to it while I'm playing a game, or I'm on the bus to school or something back in the day, you know, but, uh, you know, Death Magnetic surprised the fuck out of me. It is, that's like, I think this is most Metallica's most underrated album, to be honest with you. So, yeah, uh, my fucking notes. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, the top ten you already see on screen. Number ten, The Broken Beat and Scarred, which, I'm going to be honest with you, that one right there, that song, was only there because, it was originally I put it number six, because I'm like, all right, you know, this is good or whatever. And then, like, it kept getting bumped down until it got to 10 because of how good the other songs are. And, and well, t and 10 is also being so good, so, like, it's still good. And then the Judas Kiss is number 9. That was a good song. The Apocalypse at number 8. That was a good way to end the album. Uh, Cyanide at number 7. Uh, Suicide and Redemption at number 6, which, that's the longest song on the album. I put it at number 6. That's, like, almost 10 minutes long. Of a song, and I put it at number six. So yeah, then you got the Unforgiving Five, which uh, number five is an Unforgiving Three. Fuck the Unforgiving Three, uh, which in my opinion is still a good song, really good song. But out of the trilogy of the Unforgiven, it's the, like the least one. It's the bottom one, but still a good song. Um, four is the end of the line. Three is all nightmare long. Two is the ne the day that never comes, and one. That was just your life, which is the first song in the album. So, best way to open the album. So yeah, uh, Death Magnetic. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm putting it under great. 
But not like, but I'm putting it like at the tail end of great. Before the S and M's, but like after Garage Inc. You know, because it's it's like these three are better than this album. But I'm still putting it in great because it's a great album and underrated. All right, we just got one album left before we get to uh, 72 seasons. Holy fuck! So, ladies and gentlemen, here is me talking about Hardwire to Self Destruct. Yeah. All right, folks, it is time for Hardwire to Self-Destruct. Also, if you can see, this the casing's bad. And that's because of a personal story. Uh, back in the day, I used to smoke cigarettes and stuff like that. And I used to try to hide... This is a little story time. Uh, I used to try to hide the wet cigarettes because I would ash it in the toilet when I, you know, when I used to live with my folks and shit. And then, uh, yeah. So the wet cigarette would be... Happened, this CD happened to be the one that was like right by where the cigarette thing is. I know. I can kind of still smell it on here, but I don't smoke anymore, luckily. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where this happened from. Plus, this is the oldest Metallica CD I own. I'm not old. This is the one I've had the longest, so that's why there's a little more wear and tear on here. And also, here's the weird part about this one. This is the second Metallica album I listened to. Because when I got into Metallica, this album just came out. But I listened to the Black Album first, and then this was the second album I listened to by Metallica. So, got some fine memories of this one. Also, here's the weird part about this one that's pain in the ass for this video. Is that uh, there's two CDs. Disc 1 and Disc 2. But I'm still counting it 12 through 1, so I don't know. Even on Apple Music, it's like 1 through 6, 1 through 6, and it's weird. But, yeah. Oh, well, I guess now you can see it. This one's more of a pain in the head. And I know I didn't do this for Injustice for All when I had the multiple CD thing in it. But that's because, what's it called? Uh, oh. That's because for that one, for that one, I didn't, I didn't have to listen to all of them, the CDs, but this one I do. So yeah, uh, Hardwire to Self-Destruct. This one, I do remember it being a good album. So this one should be good to listen to. This one should be fun. But, uh, yeah. And plus, it's the last one I have to get through before we finally get to 72 seasons, which I'm excited for this one. So, yeah. But first, we'll get to this. Let's finally do uh, Hardware Self-Destruct, which I actually showed you the whole album, so I don't have to do that now. So, yeah. How about self destruct? Let's let's do it. All right, folks, it's time for Hardware to self destruct. Alright, so number 12 is Am I Savage, 11 is Murder 1, 10 is Man Unkind, 9 is Here Comes Revenge, 8 is No Dream No More, 7 is Confusion, 6 is Spit Out the Bone, 5 is Now, now That We're Dead, 4 is Atlas Rise, 3 is Mouth Into, Mouth into Flame, 2 is Hardwired, and 1 is Halo of Fire. Now the last four songs on here... From 12 to 9. They're all kind of just eh. But I guess in the way I write, put them is just. I like some are just slightly better, I guess, than others. But yeah. And then Confusion. And number. Or no. 8. I put it there. I like it, but it's not as good as the other ones. And it's one of the only songs. It's the only song. Yeah, now I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's the only song from the first disc. From the first half that is, that is there. The other half. Yeah, so yeah, it's the only song from the first half that's not in the top five, so that says something. And then uh, Spit Out the Bone, but it's a good way to end the second disc. Just ending the whole album in general, so it was pretty good. Now That We're Dead, did like that song. 
Atlas Rise, Mouth Into the Flame, Hardwire, and Halo Fire are the songs I remember the most from the album. Hardwire was a good way to start it off. Mouth Into the Flame was a good song because it was also on SM, I think, SM2. And Halo Fire, in my opinion, is my, the best song in the album. So, yeah. Now, uh, for where I'm putting it, putting it, I'm actually just going to put it in good before Reload. Because I like, because Reload, there's a bunch of classics on there. But I like. And it, but this reload has the same problem as hardwired, is that half of the song, the first half is really good, and then the second half is just, because eh. like, because like half the songs on half the album is just, eh. but I'm not gonna put it in meh. Guarantee you, there's probably no songs, no albums that are gonna go in meh. But yeah, that's where hardwired is going. It's in good, not as good as the MTV Icon, but not as good as Reload. So there's that. All right, folks, it's time to finally, do we mean finally, get the 72 seasons here. Holy shit, let's do it, and let's do it right now. Holy fucking. It's fucking time. 72 seasons. And also, I know you're probably confused, because I'm not at a window this time. You guys just see more in my room. That's because I actually got a fucking uh, a tri stand or, or whatever, a stand for the phone that I'm using to record. It's great because you're going to see more videos of me standing right here. Hell, you, and you're probably going to see me like reading off a tablet or something because I'm probably going to write how many scripts on here. But yeah, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. Uh, you'll probably see me more standing with this tablet and. Uh, the next wacky stuff is happening video. But, uh, but anyway, right now, right, it's time for 72 seasons. The album that came out like a fucking month ago. <laughs> yeah. I just drink it. It's my fucking mouth for it. But we don't, whatever. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this fucking thing. Yeah, uh, no other thing I say about it is I've only listened to four songs on it. The four songs that came out, which I believe are Let's Eterna, 72 Seasons, Screaming Suicide, and The Darkness, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at 72 Seasons, which I kind of did look at it already, but it's weird because, yeah. James Hetfield, ours. I fucking forgot the other people's names. I do like the the the, the, the fucking packaging this comes in. It's so fucking weird. Well, let me step back so you can. It's so weird. But yeah, now I'm looking at it. Seventy two seasons. Screaming suicide. If Darkness Had a Sun. Yeah, look at the Yeah. But yeah, this shit's fucking great. And then the CD that I specifically bought for this video. Granted, I'm probably going to buy it anyway, but still. Alright, let's get to 72 season. And also, because this gets to show me another feature of this stand that I like, it comes with this thing. It's a remote. Because, you know, I can just... We're at 72 seasons. This album was pretty. It was pretty good. This this is the best out of all the albums we did in this video. This is the best one, 100%. I see 12 is you must burn. 11 is chasing light. 10 is sleepwalk my life away. 9 is room of mirrors. 8 is if darkness had a sun. 7 is shadows follow. 6 is too far gone. 5 is crown of barbed wire. 
for his in a Morita. I can't fucking can't. Hold on. In in Amarada, there we go. In Amarada, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> uh, three is Screaming Suicide, two is 72 Seasons, and one is Lux Eterna. Now, the last three on the bottom, you must burn Chasing Light and Sleepwalk My Life Away. Those were, those were like a thing where it's like they kept going down as more songs kept playing. There, Unlike most of the other albums in this video, there wasn't a time where I'm like, oh, this one goes at the bottom. No, I didn't do that at all with this one. But yeah, Room Mirrors, pretty good. Darkness Had a Sun was one of the ones that got released beforehand, so I knew it was going to be good. But I didn't know there was going to be so many good ones before it. Shadows Follow, I think that's the second song in the album. It was pretty good. Too Far Gone, that was pretty. That was a, that was a pretty good song. Crown of Barbed Wire, pretty good. Enamorata is the longest is the longest Metallica song. Like that, that's it breaks the record for longest Metallica song. That shit was the really good way to end the album. Screaming Suicide, another song that was released beforehand. Seventy Two Seasons, the best way to open the album. And Lux Eterna, pretty good song. And now. 72 seasons I'm putting under great but it's going high on great like it's going right off right no not there it's right up there with the big set with the big five not completely up there but like you know this is the next best one I guess in my opinion so yeah all right time to end this thing all right folks and that was Metallica. That this is a pretty good video to make. This, so um, if I were to rank the albums worst to best, and I'm not counting anything that I did in intermission, so no Garage Inc, Lulu, none of, the, none of that, S and M, none of that will be in this. Just the albums that are currently in my hand. Not, again, not counting S and M or uh, Garage Inc. But uh, worst to best, worst one would be obviously Saint Anger. No shit. This was. And I like how I went into this one thinking that this one was going to be, oh, this thing, I remember this one ain't that bad. No, that's bad. Those drums. And that's something I realized with some of these is that uh, it seems really good when you're focused, when like you're playing a video game or you're not really focusing on it and like you're doing something else with music in the background. That's what most, some of these are. It's like, it's good to have in the background music, but when you're sitting there focusing on it, it's like, eh. so now this is, the drums got annoying. I had a headache after this one. Then I thought that would be loaded. Because this one was just fucking boring as shit. Again, plenty of songs when you're not really paying attention. And you just have it on the background while you're doing something else. Great. Focusing on it. It's totally terrible. No. Then after that would be Reload. Uh, I remember the... This is like some of the um, half the albums where it's like the well no, some of them in this video in particular where the first half of the album is really good and then <laughs> later this is a good example of it because like the first five songs on this album I remember and I love but after that <laughs> so yeah there's that oh no, I mean, hold this then would be Hardwire the Hardwire again. Which is even uh, funny to do this one in particular. Because this one, it's like, okay. Disc one. Pretty good. This is really good. And then you get this one. Really boring. You know what I mean? Besides Spit Out the Bone. And like maybe a couple other ones from this one. It's really boring. You know? Like it's good. Like I still like it. And again, it's more like a, hey, you can listen to this while doing something else. But... Like, yeah, half of it good and half of it. <clears throat> that would be Death Magnetic. I think Metallica's most underrated album. This one's pretty good. Like, sure, there might be some hit or misses in there, but this one, like I said, it's really great. It's really good. Uh, so Death Magnetic. Again, I think this is Metallica's most overrated, under, over, underrated album, this one. This was pretty good. <clears throat> Like, I wanted to think it was going to go on a map, but no, this one, this one, that's why I put it in great. So, this, yeah, this one's pretty good. Then it would be the new one, because this one was really good. Like I said, in this video, because like I said, the rest of these aren't from this video. This is from part one. Uh, this one is the best one 
in this video. 72 seasons, pretty good. Just like how the last video alone was the worst one in that video, this is the best one of this one. So, loaded. Or, not loaded. 72 seasons, pretty fucking good. All right. Then would be Kill 'em All. Because, of course, these are the top five, no shit. Kill 'em All, because while I do love it, I, I gotta put in five just because. Besides the Four Horsemen and some other ones on here, it's like, yeah. So this, so that's why this would be number five. Then it's the Black Album, just because it's the Black. It's just iconic to me. First Metallica album I've ever listened to, so it's like, yeah, fucking love this one. That's why it's number four. Right, of Lightning at number three because it's just so much. I so it's so fucking iconic, and especially with from who the bell tolls, fucking great, you know. The number two is Master of Puppets, because no shit. It's, this is most people's favorite Metallica. It's just not mine, because, you know, the number one one is better, in my in my opinion. But, like, you know, Master of Puppets number two, because, yeah. And then Injustice for All, for the number one, because this is my favorite all-time Metallica album. I have my favorite Metallica song on it. Just the best Metallica song, album, in my opinion, but there is, yeah. But yeah. That's it for Metallica. Now, uh, I will be doing more. In fact, uh, the next two ones will be a lot shorter than this. So the next one won't be part ones or two. There'll be just one video. And how those ones will be released back to back. And then also I'm going to be doing uh, some wacky, like I did a video of like, oh, wacky stuff has happened or whatever. Wacky stuff has happened. Yeah, I'm going to do more of those videos and then more of other kind of videos that I will get to you soon. Plus, the Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, that that whole video series that I'm doing, that's coming up soon. I'm actually going to start working on it after this is uploaded uh, with Astral Nightmare. I think, he, I, think I'm, I think he's going to be in it. He said he'll do it. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's going to be That video is coming up. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You got look at my CD collection. Uh, so next would be uh, a, a people group probably no one really knows, but that I just discovered while in the process of making this video, uh, group therapy. That would be very short because it's like three albums and some singles, like and each album's like 30, twenty something minutes long. So this would be very short, like a mini one. Um, yeah, that'll be funny, just because how short it is. Uh, yeah, and then I'm doing Ed Sheeran after that. Because his new album just came out and I want to do it. So yeah, uh, it'll be weird doing Ed Sheeran after just doing Metallica. You probably think I'm weird for doing it. But hey, that's just what's, that's what's happening. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, uh, here, I'll even show you. Before I had the camera on here. Now... I got a whole fucking stand now. So yeah. Like I said, I definitely expect more videos to be like this. Because like I said, I know I'm not going to do that joke again. But I have a remote for this now. So, you know, I could start way back here and then hit the button. And then come all the way up here and talk, you know what I mean? Instead of going, ooh, like I did before. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said... Uh, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more for this channel because the FCD show is basically dying at this point. So, yeah. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Metallica video. Also, I guess I want to set a rule, which I don't know I keep doing this, but I'm popping in my head. Uh, and this will go for any other artist that I cover here. If they ever release another album, not a single, but, like, another album, or maybe a single, I don't know, after, like, say, say like, Metallica for some reason if, if I'm still making videos on here somehow releases another album which I don't think they will because they're like 60 now but still if they release a whole other album after this one I'm going to do a single video for it every yeah that yeah yeah that's what I'm going to be doing so yeah okay that about covers it hope you guys enjoyed this video uh I am going to like me doing this stand dog Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the Fat Man signing out. 
see it the next video will be another wacky stuff has happened and then drew uh group therapy will be next for music uh this is the fat man sign ben the fat man signing out peace